At the 2018 convention in Louisville, we had an important item on our agenda for the meeting of the GFA Board of Trustees, a discussion on diversity and inclusion within the GFA. There was a lot of great dialogue and a shared desire to effect positive change, but a bit of paralysis about exactly how to do that and where to start. Yesterday, Ruth LeMay gave an inspirational lecture on improving inclusion of differently abled musicians. She said that music is for all humans. Yes, everyone wins when we have more voices in the conversation. We at the GFA are committed to furthering the conversation, even when it may be uncomfortable. We're committed to working towards better diversity in our artistic endeavors and in the voices that affect our decision-making for our organization. I would like to personally invite and challenge all other guitar festivals, organizations, schools, competitions, and leaders to engage in thoughtful self-examination to see how we as a community can grow. I invite you to reach out to us at equity at guitarfoundation.org with ideas, thoughts, challenges, and successes in your organization as we all work together to evolve the face of our community. Last summer, we created the GFA Mentorship Program for Students of Color. We're proud to announce the appointment of J.P. Castillo as our Mentorship Program Coordinator. We had a great meeting this week, dreaming of how we can develop the program in the coming years. The public face of our next project is debuting this week, the GFA Spotlight Series, featuring newly commissioned works and arrangements of works by composers of color. These commissions are all dedicated to members of the inaugural class of the Mentorship Program and are now published and available for purchase through Productions de Oz. Look for the link in the chat if you'd like to purchase these volumes of new repertoire for our instrument. Throughout the week, we've been sprinkling in performances of the new arrangements from the Spotlight series. And in this upcoming streaming block, sponsored by Luthier Tobia Zepka, we are pleased to present premieres of the newly commissioned works performed by the Dedicatees. Special thanks to composers Clarice Assad, Sergio Assad, Thomas Flippin, Angel Lamb, Joao Luis, Baz Bapan, and Jared Tate for their contributions to this series and for their inspired engagement with our mentees. My name's Toby Jepka. I'm a luthier here in Portland, Maine. I've got two new guitars for GFA 2021. The first one is a Western Red Cedar, African Blackwood, lattice brace guitar. 650 scale length, bass side sound port, and elevated fingerboard. The second guitar I have is a European Spruce and European Maple. From the moment I applied to the GFA's mentorship program, one of the parts I was looking forward to the most was getting to play a brand new piece. The prospect was terribly exciting and nerve-wracking all at once. And when I checked my email one morning to find like a PDF of this piece by Clarice Assad, the title Para Antara standing proud in the printed words at the top of the page, I was over the moon. I listened to all her work that I could find and I couldn't wait to embark on my own journey with her piece and what a journey it was. Now I had the responsibility to take this piece and tell its story to the world and find my own voice to tell it in. I worked at it and one day I had the opportunity to play it for Clarice herself and she helped me to finish the story. Now I'm giving it to all of you. Recently, I realized that in over 10 years of having played the classical guitar, I had never played a piece written by another woman, and I couldn't possibly have thought of a better place to start. I hope you enjoy this piece.
to this piece. Our lifetime is filled with the richness of joys and sorrows. My daughter was born on the 11th day of the 11th month of the lunar solar calendar, a day after little snow, the first snowfall that marks the beginning of winter. She has plumped round cheeks that remind me of little white snowballs. This January, in the middle of winter, my father departed the world before he was able to meet her. He left suddenly and quietly. He was a private man. When I was little, he once told me he had a recurring dream in a snowy landscape where he was drawn to the sound of an ancient plucked instrument. He didn't know the name of it, nor where it came from, but it had delicate tones and a sparse, introspective voice. It reminded him of the joys and sorrows of life. This piece is dedicated in memory of him and to the birth of Little Snow. I would like to thank the Guitar Foundation of America for commissioning this piece in their Spotlight series and for a wonderful collaboration with my performer.
Hey everyone, my name is Thomas Flippin, and I'm the composer of the piece that you're about to hear called American Soul. It just immediately came to me that I should write something that kind of goes through a kaleidoscopic view of like all of the American guitar musical styles that, that I've grown up loving and cherishing throughout my life. And so what you'll hear is you'll hear blues guitar bends, you'll hear just the Jimi Hendrix chords, you'll hear like Ralph Towner, Don Ross, like crazy acoustic steel string uh, virtuosity uh, and harmonic work. You'll hear, you know, fun arpeggios. You'll hear, you know, like uh, funk guitar strumming. It's just, it's all in there. So what you'll hear after four different introductions um, to get to a point where the audience is like, this is so over the top, like what is happening? Is this piece all introductions? You'll get to the main melody, which is like an early 1900s blues riff. And then you'll see that melody kind of perverted and corrupted with weird time signatures and like weird harmonizations that don't seem to make any sense for a blues melody like that. And that's to show like this tug of war between like American greatness and musical triumph and like cultural richness, but also like political turmoil in American life. And I hope that people really enjoy playing this. Uh, I wanted it to be fun for players, very, very easy on the fingers, um, but also really fun for an audience to listen to. Uh, so without further ado, I hope you dig this piece, American Soul, and I hope we can all enjoy Matt Briel's wonderful performance of it. And thank you to the GFA for commissioning this work, and I hope you all dig it. Thank you.
Hello everyone, my name is João Luiz, I'm a guitarist, composer, and also teacher. I live in New York, in Brooklyn, and I'm really thrilled to be part of this uh, project for the GFA Mentorship Program. And I wrote this three pieces called Tres Improvisos, uh, which means three improvisations for Jean-Pierre Castillo. And I wrote these three pieces 
between December 2020 and January 2021. And I'm very happy with the result. And I look forward to hearing uh, JP playing these three pieces. The first one is called Sempressa, which means what, like without rushing. And it's a piece that I, uh, I composed. Actually, the melody came from an improvisation. Uh, I was without the guitar, but I was singing this melody that I thought was very beautiful that kept like coming. And I was singing and kind of like uh, improvising around a little bit. And then I recorded what I was singing. And then I was very uh, uh, surprised that I kind of like had the first, the very first idea for the piece. And the piece is divided into three uh, sections. And there's a lot of uh, transformation of the same melodic content in the first movement. Uh, the second movement, it's called Mesto, which is kind of, it has the, this kind of like darker quality, very somber uh, uh, character for this piece. And I think it's also very interesting that the cell that I use in the lower register and the bass register, it also, it was something that I was improvising. And I, I lately I've been doing this a lot. I've been singing a lot to myself. And sometimes I get an idea that I want to further develop. So then I record myself. That's that's how the second movement came about. And on this movement, I use this Afro-Brazilian uh, folk tune, which is called uh, Xangô, which is a melody that Via Lobos used a lot. Camargo Guarnieri and other Brazilian composers used a lot in their music. And I like that uh, melody a lot. Then the third movement, which is a Takara, it's that's the only movement that kind of like came from me fooling around with the instrument. So the main, like some of the main ideas, I was really improvising on the instrument. And then again, I recorded myself and sort of polished what I had recorded. And yeah, I hope everyone who plays this music enjoys it. And I'm, as I said, I'm really thrilled to be part of this project. Thank you so much. GFA and also uh, Jean-Pierre Castillo for uh, playing this piece. Thank you all.
My name's Toby Jepka. I'm a luthier here in Portland, Maine. I've got two new guitars for GFA 2021. The first one is a Western Red Cedar, African Blackwood, lattice brace guitar. 650 scale length, bass side sound port, and elevated fingerboard. The second guitar I have is a European Spruce and European Maple. 